Thousands of renters in our area are now on the brink of losing the roof that's over their head. That's after the Supreme Court overturned the CDC's COVID-19 eviction ban on Thursday. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow spoke to those who are scrambling to keep their homes and those that are trying to help them stay in them, too. I can't believe I'm in this situation. It's disgusting and it's horrible. Rose Jimenez of Palm Harbor says she will soon lose the place she calls home, and she's worried she won't find another. You're bullying and threatening a handicapped senior citizen. After falling behind on rent earlier this year, she says her landlord threatened eviction and is now not renewing her lease. I can't believe how people are suffering in this country at this time due to this horrific pandemic. Thursday, the Supreme Court overturned the CDC's COVID-19 eviction ban, something struggling renters relied on to help them through the pandemic. But in this country, there's about 11 million people at risk of losing their homes now that this last lifeline for renters has been lifted. Data shows there are about 2,000 open eviction filings in Pinellas County. In Hillsboro, this chart shows more than 5,000 eviction cases have been filed this year alone. People have been getting evicted throughout the whole pandemic, and this really was the last lifeline for renters, particularly renters of color. It's been tough for landlords, too. A recent report from the Urban Institute shows smaller landlords cannot keep up with property maintenance maintenance when tenants are behind on rent. Experts say when tenants don't pay, there are lots of smaller landlords who cannot cover their own housing expenses, putting them in the same boat as their tenants. People are literally suffering, becoming homeless. It's not good. Now the Treasury Department said this week there are still millions of federal dollars available to help renters that need it, but state and local agencies are not giving out the money fast enough. We do have several programs across the state of in our area that are available to help. A program called Our Florida offers financial help to both tenants and landlords. We have links on our website.